Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I'd like to do a video that will show you how to use the mirror assembly command. The mirror assembly command is great because in many cases you've got uh, a sub-assembly of something or a component and you just want it on the other side and you don't want to take it and remade it and so on and so forth. So um, as you can see I've got a hinge sub-assembly. The hinge has a left half, a right half, and a center pin. And I'm just going to mirror the whole thing over, which is right here, mirror assembly. Uh, it brings up the wizard. I say next. It brings up the, uh, it, it asks you to select the actual component that you're going to mirror. So I say, I select the uh, main subassembly, if you will. I say next. It asks you to select the datum plane about which the subassembly will be mirrored. I say next. Um, it says, how do you want to name the new part files? And um, this is the naming rule. It will add a prefix if I want, but I really don't want that in this case. So I say next. And now it says, what type of mirror would you like to use? So I'm going to select on the hinge, but then I'm going to say reuse and reposition. So that's what's telling the uh, little wizard not to make a new um a new subassembly. So then I'll say next. And so as you can see, this is just the same subassembly, only it's a new instance of it. Now um, I have this recycle or cycle reposition solutions because if I'm mirroring, there's um, a number of things I can do here. So I'm going to click this once and you can see the different choices. So here's that little um, uh, portion of the hinge assembly up there now and I can keep clicking until it looks right to me. So there it is, that's what I really want. I want the hinge there with the word hinge legible. And if this actually mirrored the part, this would say igene, right? You'd see the E first. So it hasn't really mirrored it, it's used the same part, it's just mirrored the location. So then I say finish, and there you have it. The whole subassembly is mirrored. So there you have it. Uh, again, my name is Steve Samuel. If you've enjoyed this little video, uh, please like and subscribe. Help us grow the channel and help us to um, create more. Uh, the more people who watch this channel, the easier it is for me to devote time to um, looking at all these wonderful techniques. Um, thank you very much for your viewership.